If you've ever bought multiple shares of a stock and you're just not sure what you paid for them, I'm going to show you in this video how to find your average price inside Interactive Brokers Trader Workstation. Let's say in our example for Palantir, I've got 500 shares right here and I want to know what I paid for these shares so that I can understand if I'm up or down on my position and if I can sell for a profit. The first thing you want to do is either go up to this little gear icon right here, go to settings, and then just type it in available columns AVGPRIC, average price, click in here, click add, and it'll add to your market data columns that you're showing. Click OK at the bottom, and that gets you a nice average price column right there, showing me that I paid $21.67 on average per share for these 500 shares of Palantir. Now, the super sneaky way to add this column is just to hover over your position right here and click on insert column, go to position P&L and just click on average price. So two ways to do it for you right there. Now, we've got 500 position. We've got an average price of 2167. We still don't know if that's up or down relative to where Palantir stock price is right now. So instead of going into my watch list or having to look at the chart where it shows it at 2263, I want to see it in this portfolio tab right here so I can quickly compare and get an idea if I'm up or down. So what I'm going to do is go up here to POS again, hover over that, go insert column quick and easy. I'm going to go down to prices and just put in the last right here, click that in. And now I've got average price, I've got last, and I've got my position. So I can see I bought 500 shares of Pound for 21.67. They're currently trading at 22.65, which matches our chart there, matter of factly. So I know I'm up in my position. I could do the mental math and figure out roughly how much profit I have on the table. But why do that? when We can just add another column. So to do this, we go up and up here again and just go insert column. We want to go position P and L. And we want to go down to the very bottom here and go unrealized P and L. And a quick trick for you. Right now, it's showing me the unrealized P and L or the profit and loss that I could lock in if I closed out and sold all 500 of these shares. But maybe you want to see it in percentage. Maybe you want to see it in percentage and in dollar values. Maybe you want to just do one or the other. To toggle this for the unrealized P and L column, hover over it. Click right on your mouse and then just go down to the very bottom and just go display value, either display value, display it as a percentage, which is just the percentage is going to show up. Again, hover over, right click, go down to the bottom, display value percentage or display both. And if you display both, it shows you the profit and loss that is unrealized in dollars and in percentage. It's a little quick trick for you there. And if you're doing the mental math at home, the 2265 minus the 2167 that we got the shares at, is 98 cents times 500, which is our total position. I'm just calculating my unrealized profit myself. It turns out to be about 490. So it's about $30 less being shown right there in TWS, probably because the market is closed and it's not totally up to date right now. When the market opens back up, I would expect this to kind of jump up to 490, assuming the price of pounds here opens at 2265. So that is how much I could make based on the average price that I bought these shares and the last price they're currently trading at. But if you want to know one more key piece of detail, which many traders do, you want to know the cost basis or how much capital it took to open up this position with 500 shares. You can again do the math yourself and go 500 times 2167, or we can go back and add another column. You guessed it right. This time I'm going to go up to the gear icon and do it the other way, go into settings. And I'm just going to go in here and I'm just going to go COST for cost and click on cost basis right there and click on add. It's going to populate over here in my shown columns. I'm going to click OK at the bottom. And now we've got our cost basis over on the right hand side showing us that we paid $10,836 to buy these 500 shares of Palantir. Now this would make sense. So our math here, just to double check, should be 500 times 2167, which again is our average price column. That equals 10,835. So we're $1 off showing the rounding right there in the cost basis. So that checks out. Now you have all the information shown that tells you exactly how much you paid for every share in this collection of 500. You know the last price, you know how much unrealized profit you have that you can lock in if you want to close out the trade. And you have your cost basis shown so you can calculate something like your return on investment and make sure that is a winning trade for you in your overall strategy for your portfolio. So you should be able to now sleep easy at night knowing that you have an average price column inside your Interactive Brokers TWS where you can find out exactly how much you paid for stock when you bought them five years ago, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, if you want. Thank you so much for watching this video. My name is Andrew and I teach new investors how stock options work using the Interactive Brokers trading platform.